Hello guys, this is Viren Kumar and welcome back. So in this video we will see about the BDD Cucumber framework. As we know that this uh, framework is very important and it's on the boom in the IT industry nowadays. And this framework is uh, used by most of the companies and for the automation purpose. And so if you are getting any interview calls and you are uh, seeing and you are new know that uh, uh, do you know about the BDD Cucumber frameworks and the latest version and then you should know and you should learn the BDD Cucumber framework but you think that this is a different framework from that Selenium and uh, TestNG and data driven framework then it's not like that it's very similar to that one if you are a beginner or if you are a fresher and if you want to learn the BDD Cucumber automation framework then you have some questions in your mind like how to start the learning of the BDD Cucumber and what are the things that I should know before going to start with the BDD Cucumber framework and is it similar to the BDD Cucumber uh, with this uh, Selenium hybrid automation framework and what are the new things that I should know before going to start with the BDD Cucumber framework. So in this video I am going to talk about all the all these questions and the confusions and definitely you will get a clear idea how to start with the BDD Cucumber framework and what is the BDD Cucumber framework and what are the advantages of the BDD Cucumber framework how to set up the BDD Cucumber framework we will see in the in this uh, video series of the BDD Cucumber framework <coughs> if you are a fresher then you should know more things to start with the BDD Cucumber framework directly and if you are experienced in the Selenium web driver and if you have already worked with the hybrid automation framework then it's very easy for you to learn the BDD Cucumber framework. I have simplified this video series in a very easy way so that a, a beginner or the freshers and the zero knowledge person also can start learning the BDD Cucumber framework and if you are going to follow this video series definitely you will come to know about this framework what is this framework what is the BDD and how to start the learning of the BDD Cucumber so I have divided this BDD Cucumber framework learning into the three parts first is the basics and you should note the basics are before going to start with the BDD Cucumber after that if you know all these things then we will come to the setup and the configurations of the BDD Cucumber in our system and once you have done the uh, successful setup and the configuration in your system then you can easily start with the BDD Cucumber framework but the challenge is that it's not that easy to set up and configure in your system so because there are so many dependencies so many jar files and so many plugins to uh, we have to use to work with the BDD Cucumber framework but if uh, but it's not that tough to configure if you know all these things then you can easily configure in your system once it's done then now you are uh, ready to start with the VDD Cucumber framework so then you will be uh, coming to the uh, advanced VDD Cucumber series of the learning so in the advanced sections we are going to work with the real time VDD Cucumber scenarios and how the organizations are using the VDD Cucumber framework for the automation purpose so this is a how to start the learning so from first you need the basics then you just go to the medium medium will cover the setup and the configuration then it will come to the advanced section okay the second point is coming that basic things that you know before the start this is the part of the basic learning of this BDD Cucumber so this you should know the core Java concepts so uh, or any programming language that you are going to use to write your logic so you should know the programming language and you must have any programming language 
knowledge in your hands that is supported by the BDD Cucumber Framework. So here I am going to start with the core Java BDD Cucumber. Second, you should know the Selenium Web Driver. So if you are if you have already worked with the Selenium Web Driver, what is the Selenium Web Driver and how it works? Then it's well and good. If you don't know, then just brief about this Selenium web driver anyway in the next video series I am going to give the basics idea of each and everything and that is only needed for this BDD Cucumber framework so you don't need to waste much time and you want to put the more efforts in this uh, learning of this Selenium web driver then you should know the test ng test ng why we are using the test ng and how much test ng we can use in the bdd cucumber and what is the basic annotations that we are going to use in the bdd cucumber you can also use the junit test uh, both are the same these are both are the testing framework but they have some uh, difference like test ng have some more annotations junit don't have then you should know the maven okay maven is a build management tool so nowadays the framework is developed every each and every framework is developed with uh, any uh, build management tool so most of the companies are using the maven to reduce the uh, jar dependence in the project so you should know what is the maven and how to configure the maven in your eclipse id and what are the basic commands for the maven so i will give you the basics of the maven in the next video series then you should know the eclipse id what is the eclipse id how to download and how to start the eclipse id so this is your first point and in the eclipse id you are going to configure the maven test ng selenium web driver and the core java so this is the technical part as part of the uh, test automation purpose and now if you you are only a manual tester you you don't know about that automation and you have the good experience and the clearance of the concept of the manual testing then it's well and good so for the bdd cucumber you should know what is the functional testing if you have the uh, clear understanding and uh, more understanding about the functional testing then it will be the added uh, benefit to learn in the BDD Cucumber framework then you should know the features features means the business requirements what are the business requirements if you know then it's well and good what is the user story in the agile if you are working going to work with the BDD Cucumber then you should know about the Agile process because this BDD is the part of the Agile software development methodology. So in the Agile there are many things to learn but if you know about the user story in the Agile then it's well and good. Then you should know about the what is the acceptance testing. What is the acceptance testing and what is the acceptance criteria. In the manual testing then it's well and good to know what is the test case and how to write the test case because in the BDD Cucumber also we are going to write the test case so if you if you know what is the test case and what is the test scenario and what is the difference between them then it's a, a well and good and I hope that if you are a manual tester and if you have done the manual testing then definitely you have the idea about the test case and the test scenarios then again it will come to the pace object model concept what is the pace object model concept in the selenium web driver if you have already developed the hybrid automation selenium web driver framework then you know the pace object model concept because this bdd cucumber framework we are working with the pace object model concept so this BDD Cucumber framework will be developed using the Maven page object model concept and using the test entry and the J units. So these are the main things that you should know before starting the BDD Cucumber. I'm not saying and I'm not asking to learn in depth knowledge of all these things. You just have the basic idea what are these terms and in the 
uh, testing as well as in the automation industry okay now the third question is that is BDD Cucumber is same as the Selenium hybrid automation framework so the answer is yes but it's not 100% the BDD Cucumber is almost 90% is same as the Selenium hybrid automation framework so if you have already worked with the Selenium hybrid automation framework then you need to know about the 10% of the new things in the BDD Cucumber rest the BDD Cucumber framework is same as the Selenium hybrid automation framework okay then what are the 10% new things in the BDD Cucumbers that there in the BDD Cucumber we are using the Jerkin language the Jerkin language they have some keywords to write the test cases so using these keywords we are going to write the test cases so if you know that test case have the steps okay these steps we are going to compare and include using the Jenkins a Jerkins keyword okay then what is the feature file okay what is the feature file in the BDD Cucumber what is the step definitions in the BDD Cucumber and what is the runner file in the BDD Cucumber so these are the new things you don't need to worry about these things to how to start and how to know as of now if you are a beginner so leave it as as you are going with this uh, learning series of the BDD Cucumber you will come to know about the idea because I am going to design this BDD Cucumber framework video series from 0 to 100 percent so anyone can learn easily this BDD Cucumber framework and if you know the BDD Cucumber framework with the Selenium hybrid automation framework you will have a lot of opportunities to get job in the software industry because now it is the market is on down because of the some issues in the market but if you know and if you are skilled with the different type of the technology and the skills then I think you can get a job easily in the IT sector and this is the BD to Cucumber is again the, on the second uh, that is used by the most of the companies after the Selenium hybrid uh, framework you will get a, a big community those are working with the Selenium hybrid automation framework in the Google and you will get a lot of help from this one BDD Cucumber is also on the boom and most many people are working on it so just continue with this video series this is the part one and I'm going to follow the part two